X Games Aspen 2022 men's ski big air. Oh boy. It's where the sport gets pushed beyond the limits of what was thought possible. There's the start list. Act forehand, Teal Harley, Ed Award. Ed Award? Ed Award. Tyrio. Absolutely butchered your name. I'm so sorry. New to me. Excited to see what he throws. Colby Stevenson, Evan McCracken, Matei Sponsor. X Games rookie. First ever X Games appearance. And he can already quad on skis and triple cork a snowboard. <laughs> Alex Hall, Andrew Regatli. Andrew's coming back from a really bad knee injury he sustained last year. Really inspiring to witness Andrew's recovery process. He's back, bigger, better, and stronger. Stoked to see him throw. First one to bust off the wall booter. We got Mac for and dropping in switch. Going left side. Switch double cork 18. Not able to put it to his feet, unfortunately. That's two flips five full rotations and he also goes for a grab combo with it he's grabbing stale right there which is grabbing your opposite ski on the outside edge near the tail if you manage to cap the tail like he did a second later you call it a cube and then he takes it to a japan next up we got teal harley 25 years young representing canada this guy loves to fish blasting into the kicker forward here Oh, oh, <laughs> yo! Send the left side triple core 1260. That's three flips, three and a half rotations. And even though that's considered a mellow trick in today's standards, which I can't believe I just said that. What made that one so crazy was the way he threw it. He threw it in a very unique way. And I think we're going to get a different angle of it here. So watch really carefully. He's going to set a left side cork five. So he's done one and a half rotations right there. One flip. And then he's going to open up, stall the rotation and do a cork three to another cork three. You sum it up all together. You get yourself a triple 12. And that's the thing with skiing. Each of these athletes, they have their own secret sauce. Mr. Krabs didn't make it big on the hamburger alone. He needed to go farther and make a Krabby Patty. Right Oh no, losing a ski. Holy oh. Glad to see he's okay. This really showcases what fantastic air sense these athletes have. Even when you come near worst case scenario and one of your skis jacked off the takeoff, you still can keep it calm, you can keep it collected, spot the landing, and take the impact like an absolute champ. These guys are little tigers. I swear to God, they're felines. They always land on their feet. Next up, Colby Stevenson rides for Monster and K2. Fantastic athlete in slope. And big air vents going left side double cork 1980. This is run one. Double cork 19 is two flips, five and a half full rotations. That's a lot of twirly whirlies when you're bossing 200,000 feet in the air. Even managed to grab stale with it. I think he even inched his hand up and got Cuban, but counted out 360, 720, 1080. 1440, 1800 spots the landing, does the last 180 to get to a 19. I am, yeah. Evan McCracken on site. Okay, ladies, now let's get your formation. Give me a beat. No! Give me a beat. No! <laughs> I thought he had that! I cannot believe the words coming out of my mouth. That's a triple cork 18. We've seen so many big rotations right off the bat here, but what made that one so gnarly was the fact that he was also going for a grab combo with it, going for the trailing Weddle. The trail in Japan. Here's the boy Matei sponsor dropping in for his first ever competition X Games Big Air Jump. What has he got in store for his debut? Going oh, nose butter double 1620. Holy sack of pecans. With a nose butter, you're doing a 180 on the jump before you even pop off. So a surface 180, and then he has to do a switch double 1440 to make it a nose bud 1620. But what's so gnarly about it is with a nose butter, when you're spinning off the jump, you lose a lot of your momentum and you lose a lot of that ability to get a big pop. So to do a huge trick like that, I just ain't right. Such a gnarly debut. Props to him. Alex Hall. What? Rotation, we saw that. Check this out. Watch his hips and watch his head. Gives the illusion of setting a double cork 1080. Hits 990, opens up his hips in the opposite direction to do an opposite 90 degree rotation. So it's doing a double cork 990 to a Pretz 90. Oh, there's Andre. What happened? Did they? Oh, they missed his first hit. Here's the replay. Looks like he was going for the triple 1260 as well. So very similar. Well, the same trick that we saw Teal Harley throw. But unfortunately, he didn't manage to lace it. Mac Foran coming in for seconds here. Hopefully we get the dub 18. Oh! Oh! Did you see the landing? Switch double cork 18. Two flips. Five full rotations. And to see him get a grab combo. Not only hit the combo, but execute it perfectly. Look how close his skis are on that stale. Let's go with the stale grabs the trail in japan and puts it down 
Hot diggity down. Teal Harley run two, drop and then switch. <laughs> Yo! Man, that's what I love about Teal. He can find a trick in the textbook, a switch triple cork 1440, what he's doing there, but add his own little bit of seasoning on it to make your pituitary gland blast off in the orb. Like, check this out. I think he goes switch 720. Yeah, switch 720 to switch cork three to switch cork three. Oh. Coming back from a real nasty fall on run one, this is Eduard. Going left side, triple cork, 1800, sending it to the bottom line next to no landing left, but still managed to under rotate it just slightly, really close to putting that one down. Evan McCracken coming in for run two. Yeah, we gotta talk about this. Oh, oh, another ski comes off, Evan. Why? Is he okay? Oh, standing up, stands up after falling. Literally, like I know I exaggerate a lot of the times and say these guys are blasting hundreds of thousands of feet into orbit here, but when you really take into account the distance that these guys are going horizontally from takeoff to where they land, easily 100 to 120 feet. That's to see him walk away from that. An absolute animal. Day sponsor coming out for a second hit. Probably a little bit spooked to follow up Evan after that big bail, but this guy's probably in for something nutty regardless. <laughs> Nose butter triple cork 1980. Going huge. I cannot even begin to describe how gnarly that is altogether. He's doing a 180 before he even leaves the jump and then continues to get another five full rotations and three flips to make it a nose butter triple cork 1980. Alex Hall dropping in switch run two on his new pro models he got with faction. So big ups to him for getting that. Switch double cork 1800. Hitting the Buick with it. That's almost, ah, it's clockwork for him. Yeah. If we get a slow-mo on it. Yeah, here we go. You're going to secrete some heavy doses from your adrenal glands here. Check this grab out. His left hand wraps around the entirety of his ski. Grabs the inside edge. And his other right hand goes a little bit lower on that inside edge as well. But imagine trying to do that. Basically hug your ski with both hands while doing two flips and five full rotations off a jump that sends you 120 feet. Everybody's got two runs in. Matei Sponsor's up on top after doing, yeah, the Nosebud 19, Harley in second, Stevenson, Colby Stevenson for third. This is Mac. Oh, wow. Textbook double cork 1620, trailing blazy. Teal Harley run three, popping in forward, send left side. Oh, Teal wrapping up. Left side, triple cork, 1980. We have never seen this degree of twirly whirlies in X Games history. That is ridiculous. And I love how he grabs safety with it while also keeping his skis really tucked in and close together. Those atomics are sick. Check out the graphic underneath. Ow. And that's good enough to get him into first place there, 42 and a 44. Back up to the top, we got Ed dropping in for run three. Probably gonna try and clean up that triple 18. Yeah, there she is, man. No big deal. Like balancing debits and credits, honey. It ain't nothing. He's back for round two. This guy is resilient. Falling straight out of orbit and he still comes up for another hit. That's incredible. Pop and switch. No. Oh. Evan. Oh. Holy cow. Oh. He's a tank. He literally landed straight on his back and he walks and he walks. Looks like he was probably going for a switch double cork 18. He has that trick on lock usually and goes for a really nice tweaked up blunt with it. But you can see maybe he caught an edge right on takeoff there. But again, the air sense, he's royally screwed. So he knows he needs to dip his head land on his back instead of taking it to the rib cage but that is one of the gnarliest hits i've seen in a long time and for somebody to get up right away after that so happy to see he's okay super bummed for him at the same time because this guy throws oh yeah nice to see you too homie <laughs> We saw the nose butter triple 19 from him last time. He's popping and switch this time. So maybe we're going to see a tail butter triple 19. He also has quads in the bag. Holy cow. <gasps> switch quad 1620. Back to the top for Mac 4 end. He's currently in fifth place with a 78. See if he can improve upon it. 
Knack forehand. Oh, wow. Up. Going for the double cork 1800 blunt. So instead of keeping it at 1620 like we saw in run three, he adds an extra 180 degree rotation to make it an 1800 five full rotations. And popping in switch. That is such a dirty axis. Switch double bio 1800. Pay attention to the landing. Look at him carry it out. Yo, we got to watch the full thing. I'm sorry. Best part of the whole competition thus far. I'm sorry to say it. So a bio is a different axis than a cork because when he goes off the jump, he pops over his shoulder. But just look at him carry it out. 47. That's good enough to bump him up into first place. Well deserved. Colby Stevenson blasting in switch. What has he got? Switch double cork 1980. Oh, just barely getting it around. Didn't even... Didn't even know that trick was possible. I, I mean, we've seen Switch 21s before. I forget who it was, but somebody tossed a Switch 21 last year. And rest assured, a Switch 19's probably been done as well. I just can't think of one. But to see these tricks back to back to back really makes me question the sanity of these individuals. Like, I love skiing. I like sending a couple backies for the boys, maybe a cork seven or two. Do I want to get better? Yeah, I want to toss a dub 10. I want to be able to do Switch dub nines, but... Nose butter trip 19s, switch dub 19s, no, no way in hell. <laughs> no way ever. Going for the quad again. Matei, slow down. That's unbelievable, man. I can't believe I've already seen two quad attempts. So if you ever have trouble seeing if it was a quad, a triple, a double, the amount of flips and a trick, pay attention to the head dips. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then there's four. Even though they're very slight, it's still a dip. He still goes around for another off-axis kind of flippy rotation. So we call that a switch quad 1620. All right, Alex Hall blasting in forward. Ski big air. Oh, and there's Alex Hall lining up. How do you know where you are in the air spinning five and a half times? He's doing five and a half 360s while doing a really sketchy grab that mm, it's mm, you know it's still mm. that's good enough to put him into first place hauls in the lead by three points what an absolute legend this guy can backflip a sit ski never seen trevor kennison rip on a sit ski do yourself a huge favor check out his instagram andrew regetley looking for redemption on this triple 12 he has so many tricks there it is. Perfect. Effortless. Mac dropping in for run five. Currently in fourth place. Gonna have to step it up if he wants a seat at the table. Yeah. Left side double cork 1980. 1980, 1980. This is, if this is the first X Games you're tuning into, this is not normal. You maybe see one, two, maybe three 19s in a given big air comp. Not 27 freaking thousand. Hey guys, this is insane. <laughs> Hell yeah, it is rubber ducky. Like, holy cow. Tay Sponsor currently in fifth place. Popping in switch. Probably going to try and do that switch quad 16 once again. He's going to have to lace it if he wants a chance at the podium. Tell the difference. <laughs> oh my lord, man. Switch quad 16. When you're watching this guy, you forget, first of all, he's only 18 years young. And second of all, this is his first X Games appearance. And he landed two X Games first, big air first, a nose butter 19, and a switch quad 16. Both of those tricks have never been done on an X Games big air hit. And he stomped that too. What's it going to be? A 39? I mean, that's good enough to get him into third place. And obviously there's a big conversation to be had here about spin to win and style, but I don't know, a switch quad. Andrew Regatli. <laughs> no! No! He was going switch triple misty 1980. Has that ever, has that even been done before? He was so close. So again, switch misty, switch bio, those tricks. You're going off the jump backwards, but popping over your shoulder. And he's doing three flips while spinning five and a half times while locking in that trail and safety grab. Oh, really unfortunate we couldn't see the takeoff so you could really appreciate the different axis that he's hitting. But man, is that gnarly. All right, run six, last run, Mac on course. I guess it's not course, it's just a, oh my goodness gracious, switch triple cork 1800 and it looks like he didn't even leave the ground. 
Yeah, good. That's going to get him into first place. Well deserved. Again, to be debuting and getting into first on run six is so crazy. A 45 and a 47. It's pretty damn close to perfect. Teal Harley got booted off the podium, currently in fifth place. If he wants a chance to medal, he's going to have to do something big. <laughs> Switch triple cork 1800. Again, three flips, five floor rotation. It is not fair that everybody can trip 18 and I'm sitting here just geeking out, man. It's wild. That's got to, yeah, I was going to say, you got to get something bigger than a 43. 47, total score 91, moves him up into second place. Edward, final hit. Jump around again. It's all based on those two scores combining. Up on the trip, and going triple 19. I've never seen this many 1980s in my life. So I thought he was trying to improve upon the triple cork 18 he was doing previously but now he decided to add an extra 180 degree rotation to make it a 19 that probably would have overtaken the 91 harley synap but unfortunately wasn't able to put it to his feet colby stevenson has to improve upon the 36 dump it in switch switch left side switch left side double cork 1980 how do you go about doing a switch dub 19 Oh, he just missed the grab. That's going to hurt him. Goes back trying to grab the stale. If he laced the grab, that definitely would have improved upon the 36. If it would have been enough to overtake third, second, or first, I don't know. What is Matei going to do now? He's done the nose butter 19. He's done the switch quad. Look at him. He's like, what up, boy? I would love the opportunity just to talk to this kid to see how he thinks. Oh, he's going quick. He's busting forward. Not going to improve upon the switch quad then. Rotations. I can't! Nosebud dub 19! That... Oh, we got a real good replay on the nosebud so you can fully appreciate. Oni oh, locked Japan with it too. You're kidding. That is such a gnarly grab to do and such a wild trick. And look how he wraps his hand around his ski as well. Holy cow. Henry Carlo must be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. All right, Alex Hall, last one to go. Steve. <laughs> Yo! Oh! He's not. He's not even moving his face. Doesn't even care that he just landed at 21. That, that was a 21, right? I wasn't seeing things. Count it out. 360. Hits it with a Buick. Two 720. 1080. Oh, and then there's the 14. There's the 18. He says, just go for the 21. Six full rotations. Switch 21 has been done before. Never at X Games. And never with a Buick grab. But it has been done before. As nutty as that sounds. Alex. I have no idea what to do with my life anymore. That is so crazy. That's going to put him into first because he stomped it as if he was just doing a mellow switch seven. There's the results, Mac Four in silver, Alex Hall gold, and the Teal Harley on bronze. That was a really good time.